Hey guys, Tyler here. Finally, the wait is over. Update 9.0 is out for Balloon C6, meaning, well, we finally have new content. I have reason to stream and make videos again. It's been a fun little break, but we're back and in action. So as far as this update goes, there's actually some really exciting stuff that we'll get to see later on as far as content goes. They'll be excellent for streams and videos. But we also have a new hero, which is pretty cool too, called Pat Fusty, our first amphibious hero. You saw that for a second right there. You could actually place him on water. However, on this map, uh, what was it called? Fusty's Pond or Pat's Pond, whatever it was called. Uh, it's not the best for starting out. He seems to do best in the spot he's currently in just for starting out because his range is tiny. I want to be able to affect both of these paths. Now, this is an advanced map. Uh, and it's pretty simple. There's two paths. One goes up, the other comes down, and they also come in opposite directions. One exit is another's entrance, and vice versa. So just kind of crowding all your defense around one entrance slash exit is pretty sufficient. And we'll get to see this guy go. Now, this guy has a big slap attack when he starts out. He slaps the balloons. I think it does two layers of damage, if I had to guess. And it actually is an area of effect. You can get, like, multiple balloons with, like, like, a swiping slap. It's pretty cool. And that levels up. But it does level up pretty slowly. Now, he, I don't even think he's gotten to level 4 yet. So he is one of those guys that probably takes a bit longer to level up. But it'll be worth it in the end. At least, I believe, is the idea. So we'll see how that goes. Now, his ability is this, uh, is actually a pretty decent ability. It's called Rallying Roar. All nearby bunkies pop one layer extra for seven seconds which is a big deal for your guy boat here who pops one layer originally now he doubles his layer pop just the two whoa but i mean you know it's not gonna be the most impactful thing early on especially since it only affects the guys in pat's range now pat's range is tiny uh for a big monkey like him he has such a small range and that's fine i mean obviously that means he's not gonna buff too much which is a shame but that is definitely made up for in his raw popping power in general i'm kind of curious how this compares to other dps towers uh, like churchill uh, he's definitely better than quincy for starters that's for sure he seems like comparable in price and way better in pop power but we'll get to see more of that as it goes on to higher and higher levels we are going to get all 20 levels of quincy or sorry, Pat, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, so that, that'll be uh, that'll be exciting. Now, if you guys have not seen uh, his face, his face has been based, uh, copy-pasted all over the uh, BT6 subreddits ever since he was teased. And it's a pretty funny looking face. It looks looks kind of angry and goofy at the same time. Kind of looks like a bit of a, you know, like a dunce or something like that. Like, you know, he's big and powerful, but has a lack of brains, so he just kind of whacks things. Whatever, though, he is up to level 5, which means he has a, um, uh, what is it, cosmetic change? Or just, like, a aesthetic change, more like. He's got, he's got tape on his hands from lifting too much weights. Yeah, he needs to tape off his hands so he doesn't get too many, uh, uh, blisters or what whatnot. And it, he also gets an extra attack. He sometimes does a powerful slap that pushes balloons away from the exit. Now, I don't know how frequent this attack is. I don't really know how good it is. But pushing balloons away from the exit is a good old Tornado Wizard upgrade. I mean, you know, rip the Tornado Wizard. Now he's reincarnated in Tornado Druid and Pat Fusty. So that's exciting. I also learned uh, via round 24 that he does not pop camo balloons. A little disappointing, but probably expected. He doesn't have the sufficient brains to be able to detect the camel balloons. So that just that just makes sense. And as you can see, we're getting up a pretty simple defense buy. I'm going for the destroyer right now because I've always seen destroyer synergize excellently with uh, giving plus one layer. Like, you know, when Gwen gives that plus one layer. So I thought Pat's uh, uh, the buff could also I impact this destroyer pretty well. I'm also fairly certain Pat can pop lead balloons but i can't tell for sure because there's also fiery grapes in the vicinity it's a bit conflicting but you know i'm pretty sure he's strong enough to pop leads he, he probably hit he probably has the strength for it and we're gonna keep leveling it up so we're probably just gonna get a bunch of boats get a village maybe get an alchemist and get farming so we can try to save up for those uh higher tier upgrades also crossbow just taking care of that 
Now, if any of you were paying attention to the BC6 subreddit before this update was coming out and while it was all being teased, everyone was predicting this guy to be coming out because he was data mined a while ago, I believe. I did catch note of that. I, I did see that he was in the data mine a long time ago for guy existed. And then we saw the, the picture of the big monkey with the sign. We're like, oh, yep, yeah, that's Pat. That, that 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 is indeed Pat, and uh, I'm looking at the page of, of him right now. His his description is literally giant monkey, which I think is just is just too good. He's up to level seven now. So what's all the stuff he's gotten? Let's see. So level six gave him balloon struck by Pat are stunned for a short time, which is actually a very good upgrade. Granted, it is hard to tell because literally all his damage is being dealt off screen, but that just seems to be the way of the map. That's just how it's structured. I couldn't really get him in a better spot. If I decide to remove the rock early on and place Pat where that first boat was, it could have been a lot more satisfying to see everything, but I didn't have the money to remove the rock and place Pat. I wanted to get Pat down round three ASAP. But anyways, yeah, he's stunning any balloons he slaps, which is probably a big deal. Stunning towers are very powerful, especially when it, it can be backed up by solid DPS and Pat can enable the solid DPS as well. And that solid DPS just destroyed that Moib with ease actually. Just using that absolutely helped them take down that Moib. It was, I don't even know if that was needed to be honest. Like I bet his plus the boat's DPS was probably good enough by itself. Although I do want to draw attention to the fact that the second boat was not buffed by Pat's ability. He is barely out of range. Like, it's it's super close, but it's just not there. Anyways, back to Pat's upgrades. Level 7 gives him increased pop power, and he's probably up to, like, level 8 now, so he's more attack speed. So he doesn't get anything super exciting until, like, level 10. And we're going to get there eventually, but for now, we're just going to be farming. And in this brief moment of downtime, I just want to get hint at what I think is going to be the most long-lasting fun part of the update. There's a freaking challenge editor in there. Like, a, a thing where you can create the challenge using any parameters and share the challenge using the code. Holy shit, is that going to be super cool for streaming. But I'll talk more about that probably in future streams and videos. But for now, we have a Pat's level 10 ability that has just been unlocked. The big squeeze. You can see it in the bottom. We're going to activate it very soon. And he literally takes a Moab and he hugs it to death. The animation for this is actually so cool. Seeing the Moab uh, pull some throb as, as he basically crushes it with his giant dumbass strength. It's it's pretty cool. And he's got a blue headband on him you know, to also make it look pretty sick. But the Moab squeeze is actually a really cool feature of him because it doesn't actually insta-kill the Moab. Or, I mean, well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't kill, like, all of it, like Azealia's Moab Hex. It doesn't, you know, it does leave children behind. You know, if it squeezes a Moab, it leaves behind four ceramics. If it squeezes a BFB, it squeezes, leaves behind four Moabs. It actually doesn't squeeze BADs, but it can squeeze the OMGs and DDTs, which I think would be pretty awesome. Now, I do want to ask if this ability or reminds you of any certain feature that's been added to other BTD games in the past. Maybe something that was notably left out of this game. Oh, I don't know, like a balloon chipper? Like a super wide funnel? Y'all motherfuckers asking for the balloon chipper to be added to this game, when in reality we just got the fourth tier super wide funnel in ability form with this pet, and we also got to see it grab that VFB, just showing that it can scale and can continue to do pretty good things. Now, yeah, the <laughs> this is basically the balloon chipper, uh, just, just minus the other things. Now, I, I, I guess I can't really compare his other attacks to Balloon Chipper at all, but just, just sucking in the mobs like that is pretty Balloon Chipper-esque, if you ask me. Now we're taking the time to buy us a Heli Pilot, which was severely nerfed in the recent update. Totally, 100%. Yes, you know that Apache Dart Ship upgrade? Oh my gosh, can you believe what they did to it? They increased the price by $100. That's right, one zero zero dollars. Holy shit, price increase. Now, there, it actually is for a reason. Everyone on the subreddit's memeing about it, but the reason was, uh, in the past, it actually was possible to achieve an Apache dart ship in deflation mode uh, by using monkey knowledge and monkey village shenanigans, and you were able to get it with, like, you know, like 60-some dollars left over or something. Uh, kind of close like that and I think Ninja Kiwi priced it at how it was before to avoid that and they didn't realize how you could 
get that price down really cheap so they uh, bumped it up 100 and now it's officially impossible to achieve in deflation mode which is cool I guess as you can see it was still powerful enough to take down round 63 and you know round 65 now that we're seeing too unfortunately I cannot fit it in the range of Pat I still cannot fit much in the range of Pat period even with the village buff in the range even with the alchemist buff in the range at most we'd be lucky to get a second boat buffed by uh, Pat's first tier ability so that Apache isn't gonna get plus one layer of damage but alright it's pretty powerful already and I figure I'd just lock it in place because I have a hunch if I put it on pursuit, it would just fly around like a dipshit and not actually do anything. I, I hear actually the, um, the the subs homing missiles, if they have cross map range, they actually don't know where to go. Or not the missiles, rather the uh, the darts. They'll, they'll be uh, they'll be confused that uh, what what part of the track they want to aim at because uh, it'll be kind of complicated. It'll be kind of like quad, where uh, just the light version of it, where it just fucks up towers targeting. And pursuit would definitely fall victim to this, guaranteed. Now, if you're wondering what I'm saving up for with all this bank money, it's really just Pat uh, Fusty leveling. I, I don't intend on getting anything else, but I do want to see it level 20 Pat, see how well that does, and see if it works out well as a DPS tower or if it's a port tower. I don't really know quite what it does best just yet, but it's it's like a, it's like a combination. It's pretty solid DPS, but eventually it'll have pretty good Moab stunning. I don't. Yeah, we're not at that level. Oh, we actually are at that level, level 13. I guess we just got there. Attack stun balloon for longer, balloons for longer, and can stun Moab class balloons briefly. So I don't know how brief briefly is. It's hard to tell, but stunning Moab class balloons is a fantastic thing, especially for a like a $800 hero after all the discounts and all that so that's pretty good stunning mullet glass balloons that's like uh I mean I, I feel like Oban's totem is still better because a constant 60% slow is probably a lot more effective but whatever also wanted to take the opportunity to use that engineer that we have going on to remove all the obstacles also so my helipod can have its missiles be cross map range four obstacles on this uh, map and removing all of them shows an engineer the rock ones had a uh, the guy with the pickaxe monkey engineer with pickaxe and the forest ones had a monkey engineer with an axe so he was like a uh, you know a woodsman you know engineer kind of guy pretty neat stuff now he's up to level 15 slap attack and affect more balloons and i think level 16 what was that was that bigger range bigger range i was actually pretty excited for because i'm like well hey maybe his level 3 ability will affect more things and now it actually affects the second boat yay <laughs> it's still not that great to be honest but i mean you know if, you, if you're on a different map than this and if you have towers in this range it would probably spiral into a lot of damage i can see this being pretty good for deflation i kind of want to test this guy out on deflation to see if he can do some sort of pat futsy strategy for uh beating deflation mode round 100 i doubt it it's not that likely i don't think he'll be helpful against the bad but hey i mean you can try right giving him plus one layer damage is almost like a mini gwen especially when he gets to high levels and i don't know how fast he'll level on logs unfortunately but when he gets to high levels i mean the you know the ability be coming back extra fast so i imagine he'll have like a 50 percent uptime which is very comparable to gwendolyn we also are pretty close to beating this uh game mode so i'm just end up selling my farms just try to level up as much as possible we're not quite level 20 yet but i will not end this video until we ha showcase a level 20 pat fusty even that means going in the free play my defense as it is is just very solid the it turns out the apache dar shift is still very 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 good i mean the buffs it got were ridiculous and it's probably a good thing that you can't use this guy in deflation mode because he was a really easy autopilot uh no pun intended, but he was just—he was just a little bit too good, and I can understand why Ninja Kiwi would want to prevent uh, him being used in inflation mode. Had people come up with other strategies, I'm pretty sure some sort of Dark Knight strategy is the move. Then just something that pops purples like any other tower, really, and, and that should be, work for, for most maps. Probably not all of them, but most maps, because there aren't any like super hard rounds. Hard rounds like. 55 with the ceramic cluster and maybe stuff like 54 and 60 but even then that's not that bad very handleable for a dark knight a little tip for all you guys struggling with deflation mode i know super duper hard mode very challenging but we're all, we're all waiting for the big round 80 i want to see that ability against the zmg i want to see 
Pat Fusty hug a Zeomji to death. Also, holy shit, that knockback. <laughs> the knockback of those balloons is pretty massive. Here we go, though, throbbing ZOMG. That's, uh, that's amazing. Way to go, Pat. Destroying that, actually destroying VFB's off screens, which is pretty powerful. We destroyed that wave 80 without balloons getting very far at all. Let's go into free play, just get Pat to level 20, because his level 20 is actually pretty sick. There we go. The big squeeze can now grab multiple big balloons at once. So this is like a combination of both fourth tier balloon chippers, where you know it has the mechanics of the left side fourth tier balloon chipper, and it can grab multiple blimps, which is kind of similar to the right side fourth tier balloon chipper, and both of them cannot affect the strongest blimp in the game. So, like the old one cannot affect ZOMGs anymore, except in BT5 where it was broken as shit, this one cannot affect BADs. Now this guy, I don't really ever see him grabbing multiple blimps, but I don't know if that's because they would just appear as one when he's grabbing them and they're just like stacked on top of each other or if it just hadn't had the opportunity like you know we do destroy stuff pretty fast so it's not going to be often that there's going to be multiple active blimps in pat's range i also wonder if he discriminates against uh blimp types like i wonder if he won't grab a bfb and mob at the same time if he'll only grab multiple moibs or multiple BFBs or multiple ZOMGs. Maybe he's not even capable of grabbing multiple ZOMGs with just how big they are. I don't really know. It's, uh, you know, kind of questionable. But in theory, it seems really, really good. So I definitely, definitely, definitely want to try out that ability. With that, plus the moib stun is probably a big deal. I do. It does look like the moib stun that has been uh, put into action, though. It, just the stunning of all the moibs coming out of the BFBs are probably helped out my defense quite a bit and we are still getting past round 84 85 very well again this is a surprisingly cheap defense i know i don't have too much money left over that's probably because i uh sunk a hundred thousand dollars into upgrading my fucking hero so this is a pretty good defense all things considered probably even closer to like 125,000 to be honest we sunk a lot of money into pat all right he, he's one of those guys that takes a while to level up now we gotta be careful here, ZOMG coming in, we're gonna suck him in and get to use the abilities to destroy that pretty quickly. Now round 86 coming up and this might be where we meet our demise, I get a little bit too cocky as you'll see. And I'm thinking, well hey, I could probably beat this round without using his ability too much, right? Oh uh, yeah, I probably should use that first ability, or second ability, oh well, too bad. So that's, that's Pat Fusty, hope you guys all enjoyed, he's a pretty cool guy pretty fun hero i have to say i can't wait to try out more of the updates hope you guys uh catch all my streams because i am gonna be streaming a lot as you guys have probably seen from my other video and with that being said have a wonderful day peace out